Alright, so this is problem number 12. I think it's down four. Down, down four? Yeah. So that would be negative four? Yeah. Two One, two, three, four. Two. Good. And so that would be the rise, right? Yeah. Rise over, right. and that would be negative four. And then we're going to do run, right? And the run is how much? Two. <coughs> positive or negative? Oh, uh, positive. Good. Okay, so the run is a positive two. Could I have done it in a different direction? Yeah. Okay, what would it be? The other way. Okay, so this would be positive four. Yeah. So one, two, three, four. So that would be four over what? Two. Negative two. Negative two, right? In either case, what is four divided by negative two? Two. Negative two. Negative two. So the slope is equal to negative two. What? What? All right, I'm going to take this a step further. I'm going to take this a step further. Oh, right? What's the, what's the y-intercept? Can you tell me where it intercepts the y-axis? Two. At two. Good. So this is the, the y-intercept, right? And that's at two, right? So that would be b, right? Yes. So b is two and m. Can I write the equation of a line? Hell yes! I would say it with seventh graders. Yes! But you're ninth graders. Heck yes! And then maybe we'll use the AC double hockey sticks later on in twelfth grade. So let's, let's break a little bit. Yes! We can get the equation. What's the equation of a line? What's the goddess equation? What's the goddess equation? The equation that governs all linear formulas. Y equals mx plus b. Y equals x. What's m? Uh, two. Negative two. Whoops. What's b? Two. Two. Here's your equation. Oh, it's turn the table. Now, they, they didn't ask that, but guess what?